just outside of Crest in the East. Beautiful day, February 24th, 2019. Roads plowed up to about 10 and a half kilometer. Logging up here. It's a weekend, Sunday right now, so there'll be nobody up here today, tomorrow. Gladville. So there is a bull out uh, six by seven, maybe four yesterday, uh, had gotten taken down by bulls uh, about three kilometers up this road here. Um, doesn't look like anybody's been up here uh, since, but a friend of mine did tell me. So I'm going to go up there and have a little scour around there to be Lots of tracks. Um, Goat River is just to my left, and I've seen what looks like lots of coyote tracks, uh, moose, and I suspect there will be uh, probably some, hopefully some deer, whitetail, muleys. Uh, definitely, there's there's wolves, there's cougars up here, and the wolves have been around, and uh, they're pretty vocal here right now. Uh, this morning we heard them. Alright, we're staged and ready to get on with it. Well, I made it a few kilometers and uh, had to stop. It's just beautiful in here. So I wanted to chill out for a bit. We've got time, it's only around 1.30. Everything's working well. There's only one in here. Which is good. Me and the critters. about three more kilometers to go until I hit camp so I don't know that sun is going to be down by the time I get there so I'll have a quick beer and move on I got quite a bit of setup
sun just popped out again. So I couldn't resist getting a little shot of this beautiful place. Good for you. Very quiet up here. just about seven o'clock still pretty bright out February 24th 2019 just enjoying the evening all the hard work is done the hardest part anyway aside from the clean up that was a challenge but uh, this is camp Celsius. Fairly mild. You can certainly see your breath in that, but if you're prepared, snowshoes everywhere you go. It gets nice and cold tonight. Hopefully, this will firm up and then. Tomorrow night I might be able to get around here with snowshoes because I wanted to do some snowshoeing but if it's three days of this around camp and that I probably won't be doing too much of it. Nice warm fire. I'm gonna have a seat, relax, probably make a 40 creek. Firewood. Got enough for tonight. I already feel kind of I don't want to say tired, but I'm looking forward to getting in the tent and organizing my gear. I got everything in there that shouldn't freeze inside. I got the heat on in there now. Put it on periodically. Chill out. But yeah, phenomenal trip. No complaints. Goat River flowing nicely. The only problem with camping by the river is you can't hear the critters sneaking up on you in the night. We got medicine for those. And something else that's uh, handy to have. LED motion light. We got a couple of them actually. Just one uh, for this occasion, but the idea around it is you keep it out uh, exactly where it's at and uh, if anything does trip it, obviously the light's going to shine in my tent. It should be enough to wake up and deal with the situation. Well, it's time to get into that chair and relax. Just checking in. 7.30. Nice hot fire going. Having a, another Bud Light. Anyway, I think it's going to be dinner pretty soon. 
wife has made me spaghetti, all pre-made and packaged. Easier just to heat that stuff up rather than kind of make a big feast. It's just a one uh, burner propane camp stove. So anyway, <clears throat> it's going to be a 40 creek. Then dinner, and then probably have a really, really nice good night's sleep. Fairly cool night. 13.8 below Celsius and at a low of 14.5, I think, throughout the night. And it's 9.30. I really slept in. That's pretty crazy. I was up at uh, 5 o'clock to go to the can. Which was pretty cold. I did light up the heater. Warmed it up a little bit. My boots were stiff. Water bottle was left out and it was frozen solid. So I don't know what the rest of it. Yeah, it pops still good. Usually if everything is it's got a bit of insulation, it won't freeze. So my cooler, I'm hoping. My water is okay. Beer is still good. Whiskey will be good. My food, I, I've i got it uh, in a little bit better cooler. I'm buried and covered in my uh, snowmobile dog. Sun is just peeking over the hill. About 10 o'clock in the morning. February 25th, 2019. Crisp morning. The biggest bonus of all is the food that I keep in a small insulated tour. It's still, it's not frozen, which was my biggest concern with the temps that it got down to last night. I'm gonna tune up the fire pit first thing. I gotta get a couple of uh, boughs branches basically just to straddle that hole and I'll put that tin back down. A little bit lazy when I got started there yesterday. For those of you who are thinking about picking up uh, a Garmin Explorer Plus uh, satellite communicator. Uh, I would definitely advise it if you're doing a lot of um, you know, outdoor recreational stuff where you can get yourself into a pickle. One of the really nice features of this unit that I've just found to be quite handy, I haven't had it for that long, but uh, checking the weather. You're allowed, uh, depends on your subscription, I believe four to five uh, weather checks per month and as an example here uh, today at noon which it's around noon now we're looking at minus 7 uh, 12 mile an hour winds minus 13 with the wind chill uh, gives you humidity and all that and the basis for this for me was whether or not I'm gonna stay another night 